Hello. Based on the feedback I got, I think that key particles really are quite a mystery to most people. So, in this video I'll try to unravel some of the mysteries of key particles. So, the basic idea behind key particles is pretty much identical to how normal objects are animated. So, to make an object move, you set, for example, a location key at a certain time, move to another frame, move the object, and set another keyframe. Then the object is just interpolated between the frames and we have animation. Similarly, with keyed particles, we can set keys for the particles, and then the particles are just interpolated between the keys. The only real difference is that the particle keys are in fact other particles in other particle systems. So let's look at a quick simple example. So first we add a particle system and set the physics to keyed. Now in the new uh, user interface we see a list of keys which is currently empty. So let's add our first key and by default if we haven't uh, specified any objects or particle system numbers other than the first one it uses the current particle system. Uh, but like with the normal objects to make things move we need more than just one key. So let's add another one and we also need some other object to have the key particle system. Uh, and for this example I'm going to set the physics to no. Uh, we just want the particles to stay in one place and we don't even need to see the particles as they're only going to give the location and the key to the key particles. So now we can set the second key to be from the object we just created. And now if we scroll through the timeline, we see that the particles move from the first key to the second key. And the nice thing about uh, keyed particles is that since there's no dynamics involved, uh, we can just grab the particles or the keys and the particles will follow. Now let's add a second key, or actually a third one, and I duplicated the uh, this object so the settings are the same. And this just helps a nice side effect to working with keyed particles which I'll show you quickly soon. Uh, let's next uh, assign the second key object or this plane as the second key of the first. And now we see that the particles move from the first key, which was defined as this object, to the second key, which is now this object. We can also change the direction or the order of the keys in the list. And now they move in the opposite direction. And now for the uh, nice thing about using linked uh, particle settings is that uh, let's just first set the particles to use the material color so we can see them better. But so uh, in using the linked particle settings is that now if I uh, adjust the normal velocity which is also included in the key that we set for the particles uh, we can see that uh, they both update simultaneously oh, oops. so here the normal velocity is also updated and that's about it um, the keys can be 
any particles with any physics uh, here I've only used the no physics for simplicity uh, there are some new options uh, like looping which only tells how many times we go through this uh, list of keys so if we set it to 2 then the particles okay let's uh, adjust the timing a bit when they're born so first they start at the first key move to the second key go to the first key again and then they die at the last key the second key uh, as an alternative to the uh, looping we can use timing for the keys uh, and currently both the times are at zero so all the particles are in the first key but if we set the second key to have a different value and these are all based on uh, uh, particle lifetimes so the current particles are uh, well they live for 50 frames so uh, around 50 uh, or if we set the time to around 50 then each particle will die at the second key uh, to show the effect of the timing better let's add a third key also and set that in the middle now we can uh, adjust the timing to for example something around the middle of the particle's lifetime and we don't see much change uh, in the movement except that the particles go through the uh, third key which we just added but now we can also adjust the timing to so that the particles go very fast to the second key and then slowly to the third key or we can also set a uh, duration for the key which just means that uh, the particles first go to the key, then they just sit still and after the duration they move on to the second key. So hopefully this has cleared some mysteries from keyed particles. Uh, they really give nice possibilities that are, aren't possible by any other means. Thanks for watching and bye bye.